Maria Barallo trained at the prestigious Norlin College in Bath. The elite nanny school teaches its students not to use the word kid, according to Norland expert Louise Heron. Ms. Heron said, the word kid is banned. It's a mark of respect for the children as individuals. Princess Charlotte already speaking Spanish at just two years old revealed, Prince George and Princess Charlotte's no-nonsense nanny instead, they should be called children or by their names. And it is likely that Madrid-born Ms. Barallo has stuck to the rule since becoming George, 5, Charlotte, 3, and little Prince Louis's nanny. Ms. Heron added that Prince William and the Duchess of Cambridge's three children are likely to live pretty normal lives. She told The Mirror, given what we have seen of Catherine, when she is out in public, she's very hands-on. I imagine her relationship with Maria is very close and they collaborate greatly on the care of the children. I've spoken to nannies who have worked with other royal families and life is pretty normal. You get up, have breakfast, you go to school, and you wear your school uniform, whether you like it or not. It would be quite like the average British school children. Prince Louis's nanny barred from smacking Norland nannies banned if Kate leaves William at home for mum Carol Middleton's birthday party Ms. Barallo is often spotted with George, Charlotte, and Louis who celebrates his first birthday in April when they are out in public. The royal nanny is usually wearing the distinctive brown Norlin uniform when she is on duty. It comes after Ms. Heron previously revealed that Kate and William's children would have a no-nonsense upbringing with their Norland nanny. Speaking to the son, she said, there will be no messing. That's because Maria will be aware that as they step off planes, holding mum's hands, smiling and waving to the crowds, there can't be any crying or terrible twos or tantrums. It doesn't have to be strict. Just because Norland nannies wear the brown uniform, they look quite old-fashioned, that doesn't mean their message is old-fashioned. It's no nonsense. Norland College has trained more than 10,000 nannies since it was founded in 1892.